Morning guys, today we are back out on the river again doing some more steelhead fishing. But today we're actually on a little bit of a mission. I'm out on a river that I've never fished before. This is my first time out on this river. Looks great, tons of deep pools to fish, a whole bunch of pockets. But uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully we can get into a few steelhead today. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a rundown on my setup, basically everything I use, how I set it up. And anyways guys, let's get to fishing. Okay, just making it down to the first pool. Gonna get the rod all set up and get to fish and hopefully we can get into a few steelies today. The weather is awesome. So can't complain at all. Hopefully we can get into a few steelhead, make the day even better. Just gonna start out with a straight pink worm. Here we go, first cast. Oh yeah, fish on! Yes sir! Fish on! Pink worm! Oh yeah! First fish of the day! Hammer the pink worm! Oh yeah! It's a super clean fish too! Oh yeah! Oh my goodness! Let's get him in the net. Come on, buddy. Yes! Yes, sir! First steely of the day. It's a gorgeous, fresh fish. Alrighty, you gonna pop the hook right out of him? Hang on, buddy. Let me get the hook out. There we go, hook out. Let's get this guy right back in. Such a nice fish. Take a look at him quick. What an awesome fish. First steely of the day. Oh! <laughs> See you later, bud. Not the best release, but he's gone. That's too cool. First steely of the day just crushed the pink worm. Just put in fresh pink worm on, getting right back in there. That was awesome. First fish of the day did not take long at all. That was probably within 10 drifts I had that fish. Well, we're just gonna keep on moving, but first fish of the day came pretty quick there. I can't believe how fresh that fish was. And it, we're getting later into May now, so a lot of the fish are spawning out in the rivers and dropping back to the lake. But um, that fish there looked pretty fresh, so uh, hopefully we can uh, get a few more of those today. And uh, we're just gonna keep walking up and see what else there is to fish. All right, just making the little switch here to some row. Fishing the pink worm for quite a while and haven't got a bite on it, so. Quick little switch up and we'll see if this can do the trick. No way. Missed him, took the row bag. Well, the fish just turned off, so I figured now's a good time to show you guys my setup and uh, how I catch these steelhead in the river. So for a rod, I have an 11 foot 6 Streamside Force. It's a medium light action, and uh, this is this is perfect for me. This is probably my go-to setup when I head out on the river. I know other guys like to run 13 foot rods, and I know even some people like to run 15 foot, but for me personally, I don't really need anything bigger than 11.6. It's just perfect for all the rivers that I fish. And then for the reel, I have an Islander. 
by far my favorite reel I've ever bought. I I used a streamside reel before, and they're okay beginner reels if you're getting into steelheading and you just want something cheap to go to. But Islander is by far my favorite center pin reel I've had, and it's just rugged and tough and perfect. The bearings in it are super smooth. Everything about the reel I like, so it's an amazing reel to buy. It's a little bit pricey, but it'll definitely last you a long time, and uh, you won't have to worry about a reel breaking on you. For the main line, I run eight pound blood run, um, and then I also have backing on it too. So I have probably about 100, 100 yards of backing, and then I have a 250 yards of uh, the blood run and uh, that I run I run that down to my leader line so then for the actual setup I run on this rod is I a float setup I have my float and I I have split shots running down this is all on my main line still so I keep my float and my splits on my main line and then I have a little swivel here that I connect my leader line to and I'll usually run depending on water clarity and also what i'm fishing for i'll run anywhere from four to eight pound test and uh i'll i'll usually run about two and a half to three feet of a uh, leader line almost always just because my float setup is on my main line here so i'm able to adjust the depth if i need to whenever i need to and then down to what i'm actually using this switches up all the time uh when i'm out on the river I have a little fly and bead combo right now. Earlier, I got that fish on the worm and I also switch up to row. So, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things you can use for these fish, um, but I just switched up to a little bead and fly just because the fish are super finicky right now and not really biting, seeing if I can just get a, a take on this. But there's a whole bunch of things that you can use for these steelhead in the river. But basically that that's it right there. That's my setup. My Islander streamside force float setup just like that that's my go-to anyways guys we're gonna wrap it up right there probably a little bit of a shorter video today but I've uh, gone to one nice steelhead and it's probably gonna be my last steelhead outing of the year but um had an amazing season uh gotten to a whole bunch of steelhead this year so I'm super pumped about that but with bass season just coming around the corner a whole bunch of new videos are gonna be starting to come out and I can't wait for that too. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.